All right, guys, we're out here at Los Padres here in St. Louis, Missouri, and we're gonna do a quick walkthrough video. It's a rehab project that I'm doing with one of my buddies, Mr. Bill. All right, guys, we're out here at Los Padres, 14660 Los Padres here in St. Louis, Missouri. And we're gonna do a quick walkthrough video. I haven't been out here in, oh, maybe about two or three weeks. This looks like it's been poured recently, which is a blacktop driveway or at least a little chunk. And this looks like it's been sealed. So that's good. This is a rehab project that I'm doing with one of my buddies, Mr. Bill. I used to partner with Bill on all kinds of stuff, but uh, at this point, we just do a couple flips here and there. Have a lot of fun working with Bill though, he's a good guy. All right, so we're gonna do an outside walk and then we'll go hit up the inside. We don't have a whole lot of backyard over here, which is not the best, but you know, this is a really great part of the town. This was all screened in. Actually, it was like a three seasons room with windows. And we took it all out because it was all rotted and nasty and looks like they did a little concrete work, which is cool. Or some patches at least and we did an egress over here on this side which means we dug out the window and all of these windows were the same we dug this one out and we went down like three maybe even four feet and you can see it's all seated here and we made it to where you could stick a bedroom in down there so we put a whole window in and a sump pump pull any water out so it doesn't flood it looks really good but that added another bedroom so i turned this house from a three bedroom house to a four bedroom house. Looks like they did some mulch and they caulked the windows and painted which looks nice. Did some aluminum work. Looks like that's what this is here. Let's head on inside and take a look. All right, looks like this door's been painted since I was here last. I just noticed that. Looks really nice. New locks installed which is cool and I think we're within about maybe about three days at this point from from cleaning and staging. So the floors don't look the best because they're all covered with paper. And all the trim, it looks good and it's painted, new light. This is gonna be a nice living room or office for the new owners of this house. Doors are in, that looks good. Here's our kitchen. So you can see they're doing all the trim and molding, finishing the job up right now. Ooh, they painted the fireplace. This looks really nice. You can see, I'll have a, a link at the end of this video to a walkthrough that we did when we bought this house. And again, they're doing all the finishing work. Lots of caulk, tape, and sanding. So this is really, really nice. And the kitchen looks good. I like the backsplashes in. Cabinets are in. Still need to peel the plastic off the front. They look nice, very nice. Backsplash looks great. Microwave above the range. I'd imagine the range is gonna arrive any day, maybe even any hour at this point. There was a window here, and I'll show this on the outside when we walk out. We have one still, but we wanted to get rid of one because it messed up the kitchen design, so we just covered it up. Plenty of light though, because you have two doors right here. Not even windows, but you literally have two doors. So removing that window didn't matter. These lights are in, they look nice. Nice big open. When we bought this house, there was a wall right there. And I believe the refrigerator was in it and the pantry too. So we just put in cabinets and removed it. This all looks really nice. And you can look right out into the backyard, into the garage in the driveway. Look at this place. It's coming together, guys. This is amazing. Rehabbing properties is fun. When we bought it, there was a wet bar right here. No wall. It's just like that. And there was a wet bar and it had like a little thing that folded down. We thought it was just kind of dated. So we went and put a bathroom in instead. And it's so nice. <laughs> All right, we got a little closet right here. Right over around this way. So here's our front dining room, front door, and the kitchen. But right in the middle, right here, we have a laundry room. And I believe this laundry room 
goes out into the garage. Look at that. So it connects the two. So we have ourselves a two car garage that goes right into our mud room and our laundry room. But this is gonna be great. We have a laundry room. We'll put some cabinets up above. The washer and dryer. All right, let's check out the existing three bedrooms. So we have, we added one down here and we finished a lot of that. And we'll go down there next. So to the left, you have a bathroom. And again, the guys are working on finishing it up right now. You see new vanity, new toilet, new tile. Looks really good. We kept this old existing tile and uh, maybe we'll drop a picture in right up here of what the old bathroom looks like. But I believe we kept this tile and we painted it. I believe. Don't quote me on that, but I think so. This looks really nice. We need to get a new fan. That thing is loud. So we'll get a new one of those. Here's one of the bedrooms. Nice trim, new ceiling fan, carpet, painted the doors. This looks nice. The closet door. Same with this one. Painted the doors. Might even be brand new doors on the closets. New ceiling fan, carpet, looks great. I believe these windows were here already, which was nice. So two big bedrooms. And you can see the flooring that we used in the hallway. This is really nice flooring that we did all the way throughout. And then carpet again. Here's a little closet off of the master. So this is the master here. And got a little nicer ceiling fan, a little upgraded one, a little bigger. And you have a nice big walk-in closet here. But you also have a second closet here, which is really, really nice. The master's in the back and you can see out into the backyard, which is great. Let's take a look at our master bath. This looks nice. New vanity, new lights, new mirror, painted, new flooring, new toilet, and brand new shower. And you see the guys are still doing some touch-up work. We're, we're in the final stretch here. We, I like that we have this glass door. This is nice. This looks really good. All right, let's head down to the basement. Let's turn some lights on here. All right, let's head down. We did carpet on the stairs. I believe those were unfinished when we bought it. And I like that they did this kind of rustic right here. I just think it looks kind of neat. But they drywalled this part and the flooring that we went with down here is a really nice laminate. And we do have those four windows, which is nice. And then that next one is the one we took and made it into a bedroom. So this was all unfinished when we bought this house. And there's actually still a really, they painted just recently, it looks good. Still a massive, massive unfinished area for storage. We have water heater, we even have shelving. I mean, this is huge. Kids could play hockey down here. This is awesome. So we did keep a large portion of this basement unfinished because finishing all of it would have been expensive and it wouldn't have added that much more value but having this part finished is great because now they have a playroom they have an additional family room or anything they want to use and if they have a big family or decide to have a guest even all right there's our bathroom and then last but not least we have this fourth bedroom which is so great because it has access to the bathroom and it's a great size. What an awesome room. 